Activists are making some noise down on Wall Street again. No, not Occupy. These activists wear suits, and they want to make some money. I'm talking about activist investors, hedge fund types with billions to play with. They've been leading a public charge against some big names like Dell and Sony. They buy into companies that then agitate for change, or whatever will push the stock price in their favor. You can think of them as backseat drivers. And let's start with a big one, Bill Ackman. Listen up, ladies. Your first day back is coming. Ackman bought a big stake in JCPenney and then recruited a new CEO. But Ackman and his team couldn't turn things around and lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Second is Dan Loeb. He pushed for change at Yahoo and got it. Now he wants Sony to sell some businesses, including its entertainment unit, which just lost big on movies like Will Smith's After Earth. Together, we will survive. And at Dell, Carl Icahn, a model for Hollywood's Gordon Gecko, is in the middle of a big fight with founder Michael Dell. Activist investing has been going on for a long time, but you can think of the phrase as a bit of sugarcoating. It sounds a lot better than corporate raider, which is what people used to call Carl Icahn. Well, look, he's still a corporate raider, right? I talked to Sanjay Sangoi, a banker and author of the thriller Killing Wall Street, to find out what's going on behind the headlines. And that's the question that I think is on a lot of people's minds. I mean, we see this and we, we think, well, are they out for their own short-term interests? Right. Are they good for the company's long term? You know, in some cases they might be, in some cases uh, they are very obviously are not. But at the same time, I think there is a general trend towards a certain amount of greed uh, amongst the financial community that's driving these uh, sort of decisions and pressure on companies to produce profits in the quarterly, for, you know, for the next quarter as opposed to worrying about the next uh, three years. But that's the same thing going on with management too, with CEOs. The Ackmans and the Icons, they used to be fringe players. Now they're mainstream and going after bigger and bigger names. The simple reason they're getting involved? There's a lot of money to be made. Ten years ago, activist hedge funds had about $12 billion under management. Today, they have more than $65 billion. When an activist shows up, the uh, uh, stock price usually goes up. But opponents of activism uh, have been claiming that this is just uh, temporary. And then While some criticize these investors, some new evidence says they might actually be good for companies. We find that this prediction, this claim, is just not supported by the data. What we find is that operating performance continues to go up. Sometimes the activists win, sometimes they lose. In addition to losing on JCPenney, Ackman also lost on a company called Herbalife, and Icon has a fortune riding on Dell. We still don't know how that will go. Wall Street's rabble-rousers, activists, corporate raiders, whatever you want to call them, they say they're doing what shareholders have the right to do. They're forcing companies to listen. But at the end of the day, these aren't ordinary investors. They've got big money and bigger egos, and they're making some very public wagers.